What a wonderful time to be a Destiny 2 player. From faultless server stability and incredible jaw dropping updates every day to exotics dropping like candy from fishing and microtransactions being banished forever. We can always dream, but there was a time when a brand new strand linear fusion rifle would have had everybody creaming over it like it was the second coming of the Reed Regret, but unfortunately this isn't the Witch Queen meta and it doesn't look like a rocket. Acquired from what is essentially Bungie's forgotten love child, Destiny 2 the game, the laser painter can be described as simply a pinnacle chase weapon you should be trying to nail down. This is literally for no other reason than it's currently the only strand linear fusion rifle in the game, giving it a unique position in the sandbox as it can benefit from unravelling rounds, any of the persistent strand weapon surge boosts from endgame content, and it can even make use of the thread of isolation to apply sever to targets easily due to its precision nature as a linear fusion and its ability to persistently land crits. It drops from Gambit of all things, but from next season you'll be able to focus it at the drift in the tower for a better chance at a decent one. It has all your standard perks in the pool such as auto loading holster, demolitionist, high impact reserves and box breathing with plenty of choice of perk combos to suit literally any playstyle. However, it's this combination right here that is going to get you to fall in love with Strand all over again. Clown cartridge is always top tier on weapons and it's no different on the laser painter. This will randomly overflow the magazine of your weapon by 10-50%, to 50%, ultimately granting you up to the maximum of 9 shots in total with either ionised or extended battery. Now with linears not being mega popular for endgame boss DPS at the minute, it'll still pack a punch for endgame single target precision damage with 9 rounds and this will also give you more chance to proc the still incredibly strong vice stinger origin trait to partially reload the magazine too, giving you even more damage potential. As we're priming the painter, to be more often than not, endgame high level yellow bar champion or mini boss ready, hatchling really is the standout pick. It comes on the majority of strand weapons, but it has great synergy with this new linear fusion. Precision final blows will spawn a Fredlin at the enemy location, which will then go on to attack other enemies nearby. This Fredlin will then apply the Unravel debuff to that enemy, which will then send out strand threads on causing further damage to it and causing damage over time to nearby targets. This makes it perfect for endgame content, especially Grandmasters, where you can benefit from surges or overcharged weapons and are generally staying back to pick off stronger enemies more often. Often. Also, Fredlins are going to be getting a buff soon, so they will likely be causing more damage or you'll be spawning more of them from perks like Hatchling, even more so with the Fred of Rebirth. It really is a weapon that I think you should be locking down because of its unique spot in the sandbox, but if Gambit isn't your thing, make it a little less painful by running this fun build that you can try out from watching this build video next.